Hello and welcome to another episode on evolution. Today we are going to be talking about the difference between natural selection and artificial selection. When talking about the difference between natural selection and artificial selection, it's important to know the difference between the two words natural and artificial. Natural is something that is made by nature, such as this forest, whereas artificial is something made by humans, such as this nicely trimmed hedge. Remember that evolution means change over time, so we're looking at things that have changed over time, and we're going to look at things that have changed naturally over time, and we are going to look at things that have changed artificially over time, or changed because of humans. So in order to look through these two things, we're going to do a little thought experiment. One example we could use is the cougar. Imagine one cougar that has very sharp teeth, and imagine another cougar that has very dull teeth. Dull means not very sharp. My question to you is, which cougar do you think would survive better? Obviously, in this case, the cougar with the sharp teeth would probably survive better than cougars with dull teeth. So in this case, nature has made the decision as to which animal would survive better. It was not up to humans to decide which cougar would survive. Rather, nature decided based on the sharpness of the cougar's teeth. And when nature decides, it's called natural selection because nature has done the deciding as who will survive and who will die. On the other hand, what if humans were deciding which cougars get to survive? We probably wouldn't decide based on the sharpness of their teeth. Rather, humans have a tendency to choose things based on cuteness. Let's say one cougar is really cute and one cougar was really not cute. In reality, humans have always chosen the animals that are cute. So if, when the humans decide who lives, it's called artificial selection because we're not deciding based on whether a cougar can survive good in the wild. We're deciding based on whether we think a cougar is cute. And that is where we get cats from. Over the years, we kept picking cute animals, and over time, we domesticated them, and we made them house animals, such as these cats and dogs. Another example of natural selection versus artificial selection could be done with plants. Let's say, for instance, that these three plants are resistant to drought. Resistant means that they can survive when there's not very much rain. In this case, if nature is deciding, then these three plants that we've selected will survive because they can survive with very little water, whereas these other plants would not be able to survive and they would die out because there's not enough rain. On the other hand, if we think that this flower is the cutest flower, then humans could choose to grow that flower whether there's enough rain or not because we have irrigation systems in which to water plants. We wouldn't grow these other plants because we don't think they're cute enough. In other words, natural selection is when nature decides who lives and dies, and artificial selection is when humans decide who lives and dies. In nature, it's decided based on whether they can survive in the wild, and in artificial selection, we usually choose based on some kind of human characteristic, like we think it's cute, or we like it in our yard, or whatever the case may be. And that is your introduction, basically, to natural versus artificial selection.